In this video, we'll show you how to add your website to Google Search. Once you've created a new website or blog, and you're ready to share it with the world, there's a few simple things you need to do in order to make sure people can find it. This is what's referred to as indexing your website, and in this video we'll show you how to do it. So, let's get to it. We've created an article that accompanies this video on the Oakland blog. The link will be in the description below. Here, you'll find the step-by-step -step instructions that you can follow along with as well as any links mentioned in this video. For example, we'll show you how to index your WordPress website step by step using the Yoast SEO plugin and Google Search Console. However, for those not using WordPress, the process will be the same, the only difference being that you'll use an alternate approach to generate your sitemap and ensure the Googlebot can crawl your site. The process to index your website regardless of which platform you're using is Ensure the Googlebot can access the pages of your website that you want to be indexed. This relates to your robots.txt file. If you are a WordPress user, this is really easy and we'll show you how to do this shortly. Set up Google Search Console for the property or domain you want to add to Google and submit your sitemap via Google Search Console and request Google to crawl your website. Firstly, Enabling the Googlebot to crawl your website via WordPress is really easy to do. When you're ready for your site to go live and be visible via search engines, here's what you'll need to do. From your WordPress dashboard, hover over Settings and select Reading. Scroll down to the Search Engine Visibility section and uncheck the box next to Discourage Search Engines from indexing this site. Then, save the changes. This will update your robot.txt file and allow Google to crawl your website. Let's move on to the next step, which is how to install and configure the Yoast SEO plugin and generate your sitemap. Yoast SEO is a free WordPress plugin that we recommend for all users. In this case, we'll use it to create your sitemap. In addition to that, Yoast SEO is one of the best and most accessible SEO plugins available for WordPress and is regularly updated to stay current with the latest developments. To learn more about the Yoast SEO plugin, follow this button on the Oakland post. To install the Yoast SEO plugin and create your sitemap, from your WordPress dashboard, hover over Plugins and select Add New. You will be taken to the WordPress plugin repository. To find the Yoast SEO plugin, search for Yoast SEO via the search bar. The Yoast SEO plugin will be among the top results. When installing plugins, it's a good practice to review the star rating, the number of reviews, when the theme was last updated, and if it's compatible with your version of WordPress. In this case, these all look good. Then, click the Install button to install the plugin. When the plugin is installed, select Activate to activate the plugin. Once the plugin is activated, you should see a new SEO tab in the admin menu on the left. Hover over the newly created SEO tab in the admin menu and select General. From there, navigate to the Features tab. Then scroll down and ensure that all the settings are switched on. Now, go back to the Yoast SEO options in the left hand menu and select the Search Appearance option. From there, navigate to the Content Types tab. Here is where you'll select the contents of your site that you want to index. For most people, you'll only want to index pages and posts. To do this, you would switch the Show in Search Results option to No for everything that you don't want indexed. If you need more information on the various settings, click on the Need Help drop-down up here, where you can access a video tutorial specific to the page you're on as well as access the knowledge base. Once you've gone through and excluded the content that you don't want to index on the Content Types tab, do the same thing for the Taxonomies, Archives and Media tabs. Then click on Save Changes. Now that that's done, go back to the General option in the Yoast SEO menu. Go to the Features tab and scroll down to the XML Sitemap Entry. Click the little question mark icon and then click on the See the XML Sitemap link, which will open a new browser tab for your sitemap. 
copy the link from your URL bar in the browser and copy it somewhere for later use in the Google Search Console. That's it for installing and configuring the Yoast SEO plugin and creating your sitemap URL. We can now move on to setting up your free Google Search Console account and indexing your site. Google Search Console is a free tool by Google and is what we'll use to request Google to crawl your website or blog. This tool will also help you manage any crawl, 404 or other errors related to your site. Let's go through the steps to set up your account. Head over to the Google Webmasters Search Console. If you're following along on the Oakland blog, you can follow this button here. You will then need to log into your Google account first to access it. To add your domain to your Google Search Console account, copy the URL of your website straight from the address bar in your browser and paste it in the URL prefix box. Then click the continue button. You'll then be asked to verify ownership of the domain. There are a few different ways to do this, but the HTML tag method is the easiest. So expand the HTML tag option to reveal the meta name tag here. Now you have to copy this tag to paste into your website's header code. Make sure to select and copy the entire tag, else it won't work. Without closing anything, go back to your WordPress website. From here, go back to the general settings page for Yoast SEO from the admin menu and open the Webmasters tools tab. You'll see some fields here for different search engines. We want to add our website to Google search in this tutorial. So we'll now paste the meta name tag we got from Google search console in the Google verification code field. You can add your website to any of these other search engines in pretty much the same way as we are now adding it to the Google search engine by signing up to their respective webmaster tools and getting a verification code from them to add here. Okay, so now you can go ahead and save changes. Now go back to Google search console and click verify. Google will check for verification and then show the success message. You can just click done or go to property to go to your website's dashboard in Google Search Console. The next thing we'll do is add our sitemap, which shows Google how to navigate and crawl your website. So click on it in the menu on the left. If you copied and pasted the sitemap URL, now is the time to use it by pasting it in this field. If you didn't, it's usually just sitemap underscore index.html. Then click submit. Again, you'll get a success message and can just click got it. You might have an error here. It's most likely because your reading settings are still set to block search engines. If you did untick it earlier, it's probably just a timing issue and it should eventually refresh and successfully process your sitemap. To make sure everything is working by manually making Google crawl your site, just copy your domain URL in the URL inspection field here and search for it. If you see all of the following and have been successful, then you'll know that your website is now indexed by Google and be can be found on Google search. You can also run a live test to make sure it's currently available to the Google search engine. If you've made changes that affect the page URLs on your site, you can use this request indexing here to have your site recrawled. That's it. You've successfully submitted your site to be indexed by Google. You are one step closer to improving traffic to your site using Google Search Console and the Yoast SEO plugin. Please leave a comment and tell us if you found this guide useful. We hope this brings you another step closer to creating your perfect website. If you like this video, hit the like button and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more future videos related to WordPress, digital marketing and how to run a successful website. To get access to exclusive discounts, free tutorials and to stay in the loop on the latest updates, sign up for our newsletter at oaklyn.com. And until next time, happy building.